Hey there, this is Brad from FirstSightGuide.com, and in this video, I'll be walking you through how to make a website with Weebly. I'll run you through how to sign up and choose your settings so you can get your new website online today. Let's go ahead and get started. Like we talked about in a previous video, Weebly is a free website builder that allows you to set up and host your new website while utilizing their drag and drop editor to change settings, select a theme that fits for you, and put together the foundation of your site. They have a free option with 500 megabytes of space and free hosting that we'll be using for this video. It's a great start, but it does come with some drawbacks. Number one is that it doesn't include a domain name, so you'll be using a subdomain when you first get started. The second is that your website won't be able to be indexed within any search engines. Long story short though, if you like how the platform works and you like the look you're able to achieve with it, the $8 a month upgrade is very affordable and also includes a free domain name. So let's go ahead and use the first site guide link to pull up Weebly. We'll enter into our address bar, www.firstsiteguide.com slash Weebly. It will pull up the home page of Weebly. You'll see the blue Try It Free button over here. Click there. If you'd prefer to sync your Facebook or your Google Plus login to your account, you can use these buttons over here, or you can use the forms on the right to sign up. Enter in your details and then click Sign Up for Free. Next, Weebly will prompt you to choose one of three options for the focus of your website. A site, a blog, or a store. We'll choose website. Next, Weebly will show you a variety of themes to choose from. Feel free to scroll through and find the one that fits best for you and your website. I'll scroll down a bit and choose Impact. For now, we'll use Weebly's subdomain option for our free account. Go ahead and enter in a name that fits for your website, and then click Continue. Now, this is the drag and drop platform we were talking about earlier that will allow you to edit your website. These are the basic elements and structure, as well as the media over here on the left, and a preview of your website on the right. To edit your site's name, you'd click the logo text, select what's there, and then type in the name of your website. Down below, there's a section for a headline which will greet your visitors and give them some more information. This could be as simple as welcome to our website or a call to action to direct visitors to a particular page. Below that, there's a description box to add more text. So let's go ahead and add some more information about your business there. Cool, looking better already. There's a button below that that fits great for a call to action. If we click that button, you'll see it's easy to change the button text, and then link to our contact page. This is where the visitor can send us an email to get in touch. Weebly also allows you to choose layouts for different sections of your website. If we scroll down a bit and click on choose a layout, you'll see there are many options to add images and text in a variety of ways based on what type of website you're looking to build. Anyways, we'll X that out for now. The way you save your website is by clicking the orange Publish button in the top right. 
enter in the CAPTCHA and then click OK publish my site and that right there is all it takes good work if we right click on our URL and open it up in a new tab we'll see the changes that we made the headline the text and our call to action button as you may have noticed there are many more features and settings to adjust inside of the Weebly platform to learn more about these and other website builders click over to check out our helpful video tutorials and guides here at firstsiteguide.com we'd also be happy to help you out with any questions you might have so feel free to contact us take care and enjoy your new website